All right, everybody, we are back with episode number eight. That's eight, 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 eight. Uh, today, we have a very, very, very special guest with us, our boy Q, uh, QL. Uh, we absolutely love him. And uh, he does his own podcast. Uh, it's called A Guardians United. He does it on Spotify. I've actually listened to them. Very, very, very good job. Very well spoken. Very handsome man. You know, I was saying before this, I said, listen, um, you know, you got to save some of them for us. You got to save some of the girls for us. So, yeah, WT, they're just, you know, they're all gone now. That's it. They're gone. Uh, yo, tell us about yourself. Explain everything. Yeah, if only that was uh, true in real life for me. Um, yeah, no, uh, I'm really grateful. Uh, for the invite for this uh, this show here, hopefully um, not terrify everybody uh, showing off my ugly mug. Um, people are very complimentary about the voice, which uh, is very nice. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, always a nice thing to hear. Um, it's hard to sort of uh, gauge uh, your own voice. It, I find it quite hard to listen to myself. Can't like listen back. Um, yeah, really appreciate what you guys do. Really appreciate you inviting me on today. Um, bullish Guild of Guardians, bullish Immutable, um, bullish Guild of Guardians community. One hundred. Uh, excited to uh, be on this journey um, and a part of this community. Really. Thank you. Yeah, that was really well said. I'm the same way, and I know WT's the same way. Um, you know, very, very, very. The, the community itself has been nothing shy of amazing, and. Uh, Everything else, the community, the 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 team behind it, everybody just been very very supportive, and it's been incredible. And just seeing all the things going on this week, we have a lot to talk about about like the events that happened this week. Uh, but first things first, we got to talk to a very special. You know what? Hold on, we we are in, Jeez. we are in, we have com we have great company here, legend right here. This man right here, WT's below me on my screen. Um, he is the guardian of the week, uh, which is absolutely incredible. WT. How does it feel to be royalty? Oh, geez. I was, uh, I told you to keep this quiet. I just didn't want to really, you know, I'm not really into bragging about myself. So, I, I know. you know, but I, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I, I've got nothing but um, thankfulness for everybody's kind words uh, throughout the whole week and all the congratulations. And everybody always treats me super great here. So uh, just thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. I gotta say, Matt's well deserved. If there's anybody in the entire community, if I did, if I honestly, I know I know you're my buddy. You're like a very, you're like he's one of my very, very, very good buddies. You know, but if there was one person if I, I ever had, if someone said, "Yo, who should it be?" I would say WT ten out of ten times, Guardian of the Year, Guardian of the Century. Uh, oh, there's nobody that pulls for this community more than than WT right here. I feel weird pointing down to you. Like I feel it's just I don't know. But anyway, he's right there on my screen. You're below me. So, uh, but anyway, again, congratulations. Uh, that was awesome. So last yeah. week we had. Can I chime in there as yes. well? Just say um, yes. Yeah, very well uh, deserved. And um, yeah, you do really great work for the community. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, do try and accept that uh, uh, sort of uh, people bigging you up. I know it's difficult to do it yourself, but yeah, no, you do a great job. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to see you as part of the community. You provide so much. Absolutely. And, that, and that's the thing. It's like, you know, when you have, there's people in the community that actually help build the community, uh, people in different games or whatever it is that really are, are key factors in, in the success of the community. WT, you're on, and, and I know you're my buddy and, you know, but uh, I truly mean that, man. You're actually one of those people that really do help propel this, 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 this community. It's like, you're everywhere. You're supporting everybody. You're, you're just so nice and kind to everybody. You're helping everybody. Uh, and, and I just want to say, I'm going to speak on behalf of everybody that we're all very, very, very appreciative of you. Very well deserved. Um, super, super excited for you. Okay. So last week it was, is it pronounced Bayard? I never know how to say, is it Bayard? I think so. I think it's Bayard. I believe so. Yeah. I hope so. If we're, we're butching it, buddy, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah, he was uh, last last week's. And uh, real, real quick to uh, QL's comment, uh, I, I I really want to see this project succeed. And I love a ton of people in this community that I've been hanging out with for almost a year now. It's We're going on March the 3rd. We're, that's where the Discord launched. And I really want to see everybody succeed here. Uh, it would make my day uh, just to see that happen. And so thanks, everybody, again. You're a beauty. I want to talk about something. Um, okay, so there was a Guild of Guardians uh, post advertisement on on Super Stonk on uh, on Reddit. Okay, it's game. It's basically GameStop's largest subreddit. There's like seven hundred forty thousand people, something like that. 
Um, you needed a certain amount of karma to like post on it or comment on it. Uh, fortunate enough, I was, I was able to, uh, but not everybody was, and that's the thing. So it's really tough because a lot of the Gilded Guardians community weren't able to kind of post on it. And, uh, there was mixed reactions on it. There was definitely mixed reactions on it. Uh, what are your guys thoughts on that? What are you guys thoughts about the post, the reaction on both sides of it? Um, I personally, and I liked, and I actually liked something that WT said about it was, you know, the way to, to, if there is negative comments, the best way to, to counter that is don't be negative back, you know, explain things, you know, you got to explain things to people and kind of let them understand. Cause a lot of times people just don't understand. They see certain things and like, Oh, well, no, too bad. You know? Um, and, uh, sometimes you gotta maybe just be, you know, kill them with kindness basically and explain them. So, um, uh, Kyle, I want to go to you on that. What's your, what's your thoughts on, on the post? I don't know if you're familiar with it, but what are your thoughts with it? So is this the one on uh, our super stonk? Yes. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm just looking at it now, and uh, yeah, there's um, there has been a few um, a few more things uh, related to immutable on Reddit since uh, the GameStop uh, partnership dropped, and um, yeah, I think it's a double edged sword because um, there the GameStop community, I'm not very familiar with it, but what I understand of that community is it's um, it's got a very distinct uh, character to it, and um, the the kind of um, rise to meme status uh, that they they got, I believe, a couple of years ago um, during that big uh, event that 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 we all know about with um, GameStop. Um, that yeah, they, they, you know, that really rose to prominence and um, it's it's got its own flavor, I think. And I think their the character of that community is quite different to um, uh, some of the people in um, Web3 crypto. And I think probably quite different to um, a lot of the people in the uh, Guild of Guardians community. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's great that um, we're getting this exposure. Um, I'd be very interested to see what you guys think about that. Uh, Reddit is a, uh, you know, very difficult place, um, at times. Uh, so yeah, I'll listen to what you guys say and then, um, right. Come back in. WT, what do you think, buddy? Uh, yeah, Baird's heading this up. He's in charge of this whole Reddit push. And, uh, I stole a little bit of thunder here. Ap apologize about that Baird, but yeah, he was the guardian of the week last week, rightfully deserved. Uh, don't, don't, don't think of him as not around. I know he's a little quiet at times, but he's an assassin working in the background. Uh, I see him in the ambassador chat and doing all these things that people don't even realize that he's doing. So, uh, you know, I plan on, I have to work my karma up to 1200. I'm still like 400 short and it's, this really sucks that I have to grind this up the talk in this Reddit chat. And, uh, when I do... Yeah, I'm going in there with kindness and patience because there's a lot of uh, venom in there about the NFT gaming space. Right. And a lot of these guys in this Reddit space, they're with that GME. Uh, we're all in this together. Bo uh, we're all in this together. Apes, they like to say, you know, they, they, they play the we're dumb, but we're making all this money card. And it's a very different it's a very different community from the. Uh, uh, GOG space and the NFT space. So we have to realize that and go in there and play on their turf, on their terms, and just kill them with kindness is what, what I say about that. I, I actually completely agree. It's, it's, it's a different beast, you know, and it's a different beast you're dealing with when you go into these, in these, in these spaces. And, and if people don't understand, they just look at certain pieces of information. Like they notice like dollar signs and this and that, and it's, oh, it's play to win or pay to win or whatever it is. And they don't read the whole picture. They don't see the whole picture. They just kind of pick and choose what they want to see. But if you kind of just piece it all together, it will paint the picture for you and kind of explain it. But a lot of times people just kind of skim through, they see a dollar sign, they read what it says. And then there's like, oh, you know, no way. So yes, and I, and again, like Reddit uh, can be very, very, very poisonous. It can be uh, just like Twitter or anything else. But there's also the good side. And again, I agree what you're saying is just like they, these these this is a, a a certain group we're dealing with, and uh, it, it's very hit and miss. I, I don't know if the ad was 100 percent successful. I've been reading some of the comments, and again, I think the simple fact that. Um, 
a lot of the Gilded Guardians people weren't able to kind of go in and explain ourselves. Like, I again, for, for, fortunately, I was able to go in and kind of just say a couple things. But, uh, you know, uh, again, that's I'm only, you know, one of a few people that were able to. So it's like... Uh, if, if we could have got the the majority of the Guild of Guardians people tonight, and again, not to go in and kind of fight back, but to go in and just explain, like, hey guys, no, listen, check this out. This is what this means. This is what it, this is what's going to happen. Uh, I think we could have kind of turned the tides a little bit, but uh, yeah, it was just the the karma was way too high for a lot of people to to post and kind of you know defend the project, and you know it is what it is. But um, uh, you know, I, I think it's good. Exposure is good. I think exposure is very, very, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. just the fact that now that name is out there, it's been viewed by a lot more people. Uh, you know, it's, it's good because now it's like, they've heard of this game and it's like, oh, well maybe I will want to, maybe I do want to look into it a little bit more. So, uh, kind of thing. Okay. Uh, before I get even further in, I want to talk about an event that's going on right now. It's, uh, GOG Sandbox. Uh, challenge that's going on tomahawk from o canada a is doing it um i was actually uh lucky enough to open up the stream so we had a really 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 fun stream on uh when was that was that on uh friday no that was on uh thursday on thursday it was thursday oh yeah oh yeah so yeah, we you're under you're underselling it it was beyond fun <laughs> oh thank you man i'm glad you enjoyed it you know this is what i do i entertain for a living i stream you know six nights a week it's what i do um and i always love you know i feed off the hype of the, of the of the audience and this is what i do six nights a week so i was really 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 happy to have the guild of guardians community come in because a lot of them you know i know them through discord or through twitter but they never actually got to get to know me on a kind of a personal level where we get to chat back and forth kind of thing and it was really nice to be able to have them in the stream and, and be able to you know they get to see the other side of me and the and the personality and the in the and, you know the stream and the community and stuff like that and uh, that was so much fun so i want to give a big shout out to tomahawk toad toad big shout out to toad uh oh canada a uh for that that was really 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 cool and there's a bunch of other streamers uh coming up that are doing it i know uh, uh niso did it the other night and there's a couple other ones doing it uh check them out support it man it's awesome it's a great 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 time they're doing giveaways and stuff and it's just been really cool to get to know i like for me you know, i say this all the time it's always been about community getting the community to know each other kind of that it just builds that tight-knit group and uh with everybody and it just gets everybody a chance it gives everybody a chance to get to know each other and i, and I love that so i highly recommend checking it out okay gog staking gog staking uh thoughts on that ql i want to go with you on this i want to know i let's hear it let's hear it all let's hear what you got on that i love i i yeah let's say let's hear your thoughts yeah um can i just go back to the um gme thing i just want to yes add one yeah. more thing on that um i think the karma aspect of that is really important and um i personally find um reddit in general the sort of herd mentality uh, uh, mentality and group think mm -hmm. on there is really strong and um i generally find that it's quite hard to um post uh original thought or um uh, you know, uh, opinions which differ from the majority. Uh, and I, I think it can be a vicious circle, actually, because um, people tend to, I, I think people tend to post uh, what they perceive will get uh, likes or karma, mm. pats on the head. Um, and so I don't think, WT, that you're going to succeed in your karma efforts because <laughs> you're probably... You, you, you know, you're going to go in uh, speaking your mind and be, and because you're not, you won't be sort of just trying to tick the boxes, um, fitting in on there, saying what everyone else is saying, um, mm -hmm. you won't get, you won't get um, up in karma or that's my uh, uh, experience of Reddit anyway. And it's generally why I don't participate because if I have differing opinions, um, you're taking a risk mm -hmm. by sharing them because the incentives are really it's risky to share that because you get downvoted um whereas if you if you if you're just really perceptive and kind of uh, a bit mercenary you can go in and, and sort of see right this is what people like this is what gets up votes i've seen it day after day post after post and if you just look at the top posts it's it's all nft hate and um pay to win hate and just uh right. classic um classic stuff that you generally see from the gaming community i didn't really expect to see that from um the gme community i thought they'd be a little bit more 
um, open to this kind of thing than that. Uh, but I think that, again, just illustrates how early we are with this. And this doesn't concern me at all. This, to me, uh, looks like our advantage um, because I've no doubt whatsoever. Because I was there. I was there, what, what these guys were saying. Um, and they probably don't agree with what I'm saying right now, but I feel like I was in their boat and I've um, capitulated on that opinion um mm. and uh and I, i've you know come around the other side so uh i know what they're saying and i i understand some of the criticism but uh i think there's uh, i think the more complexity to it but anyway that's the bit on gme um i'd like to hand over to wt for the staking first because i've gone on uh a load there <laughs> um so Stop I, my voice. I could hear you talk all day with that voice. It's right. so soothing. It's so like you can just sit here and say the alphabet for you know forty five minutes, and we can just kind of listen. I'm okay with that too. I mean, it's great. You have a beautiful voice, man. You got a beautiful voice. He does. Um, <laughs> the, first of all, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's platforms out there where you can just do your voice, and they call them voiceovers, and you can actually make some decent money with it. I don't know if you looked into it, but I'm sure you would rack up a ton. First of all, yes, his voice and I'm just your whole demeanor, fine, man. But... You're you're what I expected. This is the first time I'm seeing you. So it's great. It's great. Yeah, I love them already, man. I love them already. My wife's not allowed to watch this episode now. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm like um I'm like a rubber ball. You know, you you guys say these kind things and they just bounce straight off me. Um, <laughs> right. It's just not not I'm not looking for like sympathy or anything, but I just uh it's one of those things you you hear. I mean. Because Bruno, as I understand, you went on. Um, you were on Big Brother. That's right. I think that's right. That's right. And I, I think, I think to go on there, you've got to have such thick skin. Right. Um, right. And you know, I think for some people like myself, uh, like criticism really gets you, uh, and it, you you absorb the criticism, but then uh, compliments they bounce off you. Like, and that's just like the worst combination. So, you know, you must have like super yeah thick like skin I and. Uh, my generation, the, the main saying in my generation was sticks and stones will break your bones, names will never hurt you. So like the words to me just never did. I've just like, whatever, you know what I mean? That's just like a duck. You let it roll off your back. You know what I mean? That's just the way I've always been. It's just, that's, this has been that's my, awesome. my, my, my way in life. It's just like, okay, you know, you have an opinion. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Like what, what is that going to do? You know, I mean, that's the way I look at things. So, but yes, I, uh, yeah, but yeah, so you do have to have, you do pretty much have to have a thick skin or it'll eat you alive. If welcome back. Welcome back. So QL's camera just, uh, I guess his internet just cut out. He's back. We're here. Hello. All right. Um, yeah. So I'll jump back on. Uh, I'll jump back on that staking and uh, mm -hmm. real quick before I talk about the staking here. Yeah, you're. This is why. I mean, I know you're not gonna take this comment, but this is why I love you. Your interpretation of there with GME and their area, like uh, their turf and what they do. Yeah, that's exactly. You're exactly right. And so you've already helped me develop my plan of attack when i get enough karma on there is to not go in there and try to just flat out educate them and help them i'm almost gonna have to go in there and be like incognito yeah i'm one of the apes and maybe just slowly trickle it in instead of like laying it out there and this is what i i love the way your mind works with this stuff man you've already you've already helped me out so thanks for that yeah. and uh regarding the staking uh, there's really not much to say about it it's on sushi swap it's a liquidity pool, which is if you don't know anything about it, you need to educate yourself on liquidity pools. It's it's double sided, so you have to have the Ethereum version of Sushi Swap and GOG token. And from my understanding, it pays out in GOG token. And there's this thing called impermanent loss. And if you don't know anything about it, you need to look it up and be aware of it. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but whatever you put in value wise that is what you will get out when you unstake it so if the, the values of the two tokens go way up you're going to get less of them when you pull it out and that's what you need to know about it so just be aware before you get into it i'm not participating in it i i am very very cautious about doing dual-sided staking i prefer single-sided staking it's not as high as an apy which sucks but Whatever you put in coin wise, you get back out. And that's what I prefer to do because I'm a big fan of crypto. I'm with you again on that. I like <clears throat> I like uh this I like staking. Staking to me is a, is you know is very important, but I agree. I, I think I think um yeah, I like the single token staking as well, where you stake it in, you got what you got, and then you get your return. Um I agree with you on that as well. Okay. So uh I want to go back to I think it was uh, the GME thing you said about the car the Reddit thing about karma and stuff. Um 
I agree with you 100% again on that. The karma, it's it's a flawed system, I think, because again, if you have that that common view of everybody else, it's like, yep, we're going to upvote this. Anybody that has anything different to say, we're going to we're going to just throw it to the ground. So, especially when you're going into someone else's territory and you have a different uh, thought process, they're going to make sure that no, 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 you're going to the bottom. We're going to bring everybody else. So, if you say anything positive about their brand or uh, whatever, you know, if you agree with everybody else, they're going to pump you up. If you have anything uh, opposite to say or anything in, like just different, you're going to get shut down to the ground. So I agree. I think the karma and, and, and like I said before, you know, Reddit can be very toxic. Uh, we talked about me being on, on the, on big brother before. So I am part of the big brother Reddit. I've done AMAs there before. Uh, lucky for me, big brother Reddit has got love for me. So yo, big shout out for big brother Reddit. They got lots of love for me. So they helped me out and you know, but man, I've seen it go the other way where it doesn't matter. You know, if they don't like you, they're just going to just sink you you know what i mean and it just it's a, it's a it's a flawed system but yes um okay i want to talk about is it is it is it pronounced see here's the thing i know all the people in, in the i know all the names of the community like like baird and stuff i know who who they are i know i know but I, i'm so bad at pronouncing names is it stepico is that how you say that stepico okay yeah. so again i yeah, know stepico don't know how to pronounce the names properly but uh is fine that's good to know that stepico is fine uh stepico is in the far west side of ukraine in uh lviv uh, contingency plans in place and they're monitoring it. Uh, any updates on that? I know it's, you know, that's that, first I want to say that's a really, really tough situation to be in. I couldn't even imagine what it's like to be living there right now. Um, you know, there may, uh, uh, you know, what, what, are, what do we think? Is there delays for the, and even if there was delays for the game, who cares? You know, this is like, we're talking about human lives and, and stuff like people's well beings. You know, I know some people are going to, Oh, what is that going to delay the games? Who cares? You know, realistically, if it delays the game, who cares? Because we're dealing with, with people's lives here. Um, what are our thoughts on, uh, what, what are they, any updates on that or anything? What's going on with that? Do you know? Either. I, I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I've not seen anything um, more other than that uh, they're safe and that they had their contingency plans in place. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, they were on the the right side of the country, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I haven't seen any further updates. I think everything either. Okay. Yeah, me either. Uh, I'm also checking out a game called Mavia, and they delayed their their game launch uh, sale, the, their first sale to whitelisters for at least one week. I have a feeling they're going to extend it again. I, I can't believe how many devs and people in this space are over in Ukraine, but they, they're they all they're all delaying. So don't be surprised if we see a delay. Uh, who knows how long it's going to draw, draw out and where it's going to go. It's a very volatile situation. And as Bruno said, yeah, who cares? It's, it's, it's a, it's an awful situation for everybody, and uh, we just we got to be human beings and realize that, and just be patient. I, I yep, one hundred percent. Okay, I want to talk about a huge, massive announcement. Massive, 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 massive. Everyone's waiting for this. When alpha? When alpha? When alpha? Um, pre alpha announced. Uh, you had to register. Uh, does not appear to be the snapshot. What do you guys think, man? What do you guys think? Do you, I, I'm I'm assuming you guys both uh, um, um, registered for it. Yeah. So here's the thing. I am, man, I am beyond excited. This is what a lot of people have been waiting for. I mean, I've been seeing all over Twitter, you know, people posting, yep, I, I registered, I registered, I registered. Um, how do we think we're going to take everybody? They're going to take a certain amount of people because I'm sure they want to try to onboard maybe as many people as they can to, to kind of stress test things or what are we thinking here? What do, what do you think's uh, going to go on here? Yeah, I'll, um, I'll go on this. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how many they take. Um, you know, I, I find it hard to imagine what would be their limitations, you know, what would be in their mind of what, uh, how they should limit it and um, what the reasons for doing so would be. Um, obviously, everybody wants to um, get it in. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, there won't be uh, many disappointed people. Um, I think it's just, it will just be fantastic to be a part of it because you know you're you're then there at the very beginning um and uh i think that will hopefully um sort of uh uh sort of quell our appetite a little bit you know we're all so hungry for this and just to get our hands on it um will be so uh fascinating absolutely uh wt uh yeah i mean I, I I know they said that you had to hurry hurry and get in because uh, spaces were limited, which is what they said in the very beginning, uh, that they would get some people in and then slowly ramp it up. 
and I think that's exactly what they're doing. So I hope I get in. <laughs> I put in, I happen to be up because I was working midnights this weekend. So I seen it and jumped on it right away. And uh, boy, this was a double banger for me because not only did we get that calculated placement of the pre alpha announced in conjunction with Tomahawk's release in your stream and then like only like five hours later they dropped that on us and i know that i know that was planned it had to be but not only did we get that but now the possibility of my one of my predictions finally being right of a pet pfp has a chance because we don't know what the snapshot is now i would i'm assuming i mean maybe it still is the pre-alpha but i think we got a chance now that uh that snapshot might be something else. Hopefully, yeah. I don't think the snapshot had to do with the, with the album because they open it up to everybody. So if it if it had to do with the snapshot, they wouldn't have opened it up. They would have just been like, all right, here's your anybody uh, from whatever whatever the snapshot is about. Here's your invitation, or you're gonna have a chance to play or whatever. Uh, I think the snapshot's still something different for sure. And like you said, I think that was great uh, great play on their part where they had the big event opened up. Uh, for those that don't know what this event is, I'll explain it really 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 quick. Um, Tomahawk created a um, level in the sandbox. It's a Guild of Guard level there's like a, a quest going on you go in you do it you try to beat the be get the best times uh and you can get an actual nft guild of guardians shield that you can use um and you can equip and, and play across all the sandbox games you can always equip it it's really really cool i uh, highly recommend playing it checking it out um very 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 cool so they had this big event there's a bunch of streamers i was the one that got to open it up i was very thankful for that had a, a great turnout great people in the community there and uh it was just a lot of fun a lot of fun that night so very very appreciative for that uh we gave away five heroes and, and a bunch of other things were going on it was great um yes i don't think the snapshot has anything to do with that i think this is the moment that people have been waiting for the alpha um i'm i'm hoping it brings a lot more hype uh, around it because you know like like in any project you're gonna have low moments you're gonna have mo nothing it can't always be hype all the time they're they're working on things there's so much things going on behind the scenes uh it can't always just be like yo this okay this is out next thing next thing next thing you can't it does, it's not sustainable you can't do that so uh yes there's a little lull in in, in the things and then boom now there's the uh, alpha announcement i've seen more people coming into the game which is great uh, and, uh, yeah, I just, I can't wait to play it. We, I mean, we don't know when it's going to be right. We don't know when the alpha is or did they say anything? No way. Eh? Right. So we don't even know. We're just, uh, yeah. we're, we're registering right now. We're going to find back. I mean, WT, I, I mean, I don't know, but I'm, I'm assuming, uh, you're going to be able to play. I mean, you're the guardian of the week, man. You're the guardian <laughs> of the week. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah That's man I, i'm super excited dude this is great this is what we've all been waiting for so um yep. yeah i i can't I, I can't wait uh to see uh how it all plays out and uh i, I guess other you're gonna be able to how are, what are they gonna do with heroes did they say um I, I believe from what they said you were not gonna be able to play with our nfts right off the bat and they mm -hmm. said that there there might be a chance but i was i was more leaning on the side of i doubt it just because everything that this takes is a lot and right. i i don't think they're ready yet and i don't say that as a knock towards them but just right. reading from what they've said and hopefully there's a chance we get to play with our nfts in it but i would err on the side of probably not yeah I, i'd probably say i think that they'd probably just have like you can choose any hero you want probably thing or maybe they have like a select few you can use or something but yeah i don't think it's going to be like your own um your own heroes uh how excited are you for this thing what's uh what's your thoughts on it all yeah beyond excited really it's um just any you know uh, anything is is so exciting really because um you know uh, we're also hyped for this and uh you know to to actually have uh, even a pre alpha is to show off so many details of the games and you know the fact that we're here now we're pouring over the smallest of details um and i think that's a testament to how um uh how much conviction we have that this is uh, a worthy project uh, an interesting project so uh to actually yeah play the the pre alpha and um see that will be will be so uh, enlightening really we'll really learn a lot about uh the game and it will give us uh, as content creators um so much to get our teeth into uh just can't wait really yes i i agree i have a lot of i have a lot of questions for you actually Q. I, I want to know more about you okay so um okay so here's the thing you have your own podcast uh, it's actually, actually, I listen to them. I think they're great. You're very well-spoken. Like I said, you got that, that soothing voice, beautiful accent. 
Uh, I love it. I want to know what are your goals for the show. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna fire off a bunch of questions. You ready for these? Yeah. Ready? Go I'm gonna ahead. fire them off. All right. Goals yeah. for the show. What are your goals for the show? Yeah. So I think um, as listeners, you'll be aware that you know, you know, I've had uh, some doubts about the show, and um, you know, some uncertainty about the direction. And you know, even speaking to you now, it's um, it's helping me form. Uh, my opinions with it. And um, I think more than anything that, you know, the community has been so supportive um, and Guild of Guardians have been so supportive of it. It has really helped. Um, I think, I think, as I said, um, I said previously, I, I have to make, have, for me to um, be, you know, uh, be motivated with the projects, I have to have something unique and um i think at the time we're at with the game i think um I, I think it's a challenge to uh differentiate uh what i'm doing and um and and i think you have to uh i think the show has to be i think the show has to follow my interests i think it, i think uh, that's how it started and um i think that's what i'm going to continue to do and uh i suppose at times i get you know a bit of uh uh uncertainty whether this is interesting to everybody else so w one of the things i'm really keen to do is to speak to howie about game economies um that's just something i want to go really deep on game economies and the uh, mechanics of um game economies um and i think i think kind of deep dives like that is uh is one of the goals for the podcast one of the key aims for the podcast is uh, to cater for the Blackpool, uh, Blackpool community. So that's the guild that um, I'm a part of. And um, although I want this to be universal to all, all players, I want first and foremost it to be um, a place that all the Blackpool players go to um, to get their update. I think that's, uh, that's kind of the first thing. That's where it started uh, from this uh, Blackpool angle. Um, and uh, secondly, I think uh, one of the main inspirations was uh, Pods Unchained, which uh, was a podcast started by Caution Fun and Copper Pitch uh, within the um, Gods Unchained community. Now, I'm very into that game, but I'm a nobody there. I'm an absolute nobody. No one knows who I am, um, but I love their stuff. They're, they're OGs. And I think as uh, WT and uh, Tomahawk have uh, said to me recently, you know, we're us three here, the community, um, all the people we've been speaking about, we're the OGs. Um, so that's uh, uh, an amazing position to be in. Um, yeah. No, absolutely. I, I agree. And that's the thing is like, you're, you're saying you're talking, I, you, you play, I know you play Gods Unchained. You're really big in that game. You play it and you're talking about the Pods Unchained podcast. And you're saying, you know, you look, you watch, you listen to these or you look up to them or whatever it is. That's the thing. It's like, these are the people that are, are pushing the, the game and helping, helping, you know, build it and shape it. And that's, you know, that's what we're all doing here. We're trying to help this game and, and, and get the eyes on it and help build it as well. I, 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 uh, I like that. And, that, and you say, we are the OGs. We're the ones coming in, you know, bringing that attention to the game early on when not many other people are doing it. And that's how much we believe in it. And you've, and like another thing you've mentioned is, is how, you know, uh, we don't have a lot of information, but that's how much we believe in this because we're, we're putting out the content with the little information we have and we're trying to, you know, push it as far as we can. Um, WT, do you have any other, we have a, I have a bunch of questions. I'm sure WT has some questions he wants to ask you as well. Uh, go for it, brother. Yeah. Um, first of all, that's awesome that you're lining up uh, something with Howie. I can't wait to hear that. <laughs> that My ears were like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love listening to your show. I mm -hmm. feel like I learn one to 10 things, depending on what the conversation is about. And uh, I was wondering how you had access to these uh, guys from Blackpool and YGG. And now I understand how you, you got access to them because a long time ago, I was trying to talk to them and I never got a response. So good for you. The, uh, the Sorcier... Uh, podcast you did recently was awesome. I loved his uh, ideas, especially with the guild token. And uh, I forget the gentleman's name from the first one you did, but he had oh, a. Sam. I'm sorry, what was his name? Sam. Sam's, uh, yeah, one of our main guys at Blackpool. Okay. Uh, yeah, one of the key people. Yeah, yeah he had uh, the, just the, just the his, and I, I, I kind of knew some of the stuff he was talking about, but I don't think everybody does 
and he was getting into the nitty gritty of the NFT space and NFT games and even a little bit of the psychology of it. And that stuff, man, I just, I eat that stuff up. Mm -hmm. I eat it up. And I, that's why I, you know, I hope I didn't pressure you into the keep going on. I, I just, I have a natural tendency to try to, when I see someone down, I want to pick them up and you, you, you you had some concerns about going forward. And I was like, no, no, you can't leave us, man. <laughs> so I will back off and not push you because I understand what you're saying about how you feel about things and the direction you want to go. So I will be more hands off and not pressure you as much, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I want to say uh, I actually listened to the It was the Blackpool one as well. I listened to your podcast. And that actually is what got me uh, motivated to get into the podcast. So I want to say thank you for getting me motivated into wanting to do this. So not only am I one of the, I guess you call me one of the OGs, you're the OG in my eyes, my friend. So I really appreciated what you did uh, and what you continue to do. So yeah, I, I'd keep your head, like, like I said, if you were thinking of, of uh, whatever, uh, I think you do a phenomenal job. I think you're very, very, very good at what you what you say, what you do, and uh, even like the questions you ask, all that stuff. Which actually, want to I want to ask you this right now. You so um, how do you process the questions? Because some of them are so complex. Like how do you how do you how do you figure out the? Uh, do you have a process for the questions you're going to ask? You know. Yeah, that's a really um, good question. And uh, I suppose first off, yeah. Um to both of you um you know thanks very much for the encouragement and um yeah i'm feeling really good at the moment um like you know had so much positive feedback the past uh week and um yeah um it really it really does uh help actually because uh i think i think some people uh you know they've sort of got like an innate belief in themselves but um you know so i think some of us you know we kind of uh sometimes need beating over the head uh you know because we can't uh, sort of necessarily intuit uh sort of uh, what people are, are thinking or whatever but um yeah the, 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 yeah questions um so obviously like yeah setting out um your questions to start off um is obviously really important and having your idea for the um the show and why you've got that person on there and what you want to learn about them and i think i think that's uh, you know, you asked about goals for the show. And I think one of the aspects that I want to make, remain true to is that if I follow what I'm interested in, hopefully that will be um, of interest to the people who listen. So um, I'm trying to learn uh, from the guests. And sometimes it can feel a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit cheeky that I'm kind of, I've done other projects in the past where I've kind of, I've kind of had people's time um, just to learn something myself <laughs> and uh it's kind of a little bit uh naughty um in the I love uh, I, I could listen to you talk all day man i'm just i gotta say that i could listen to you talk all day man <laughs> i love it i love it <laughs> yeah it's uh it's a little bit cheeky because sort of getting their time but it's just kind of like oh yeah i want to learn more about that um you know say like i've got their book or um i've read this article or whatever but actually i want to ask them my questions hmm uh, podcast episode sounds a great opportunity to, um, uh, to to ask the questions that I want in this sort of official fashion. So um, yeah, so that's 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 kind of uh, the approach I take with it, really. Um, yeah, what about you guys? You know, what's your um, what's your vibes in 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 terms of uh, how you uh, go about your kind of uh, what you ask each other and the topics that you uh, that you discuss. I got W listen, WT is the, sh to me, WT is the guy, man. I'm just, listen, he, listen, he's so, he's modest. WT does 99% of this. I'm going to be very honest. He does everything. He's the one, he has the great questions. He has all the knowledge. You know, he, he is I, like when I say this, this could not work without WT, not even close. He's always filling me on things, you know, and, and he's so knowledgeable about everything. So yeah, no, WT is, is literally the, everything for this podcast the producer the, the everything everything it's him i just I, you know ah, no ah, wt you're the guy he's very ah, listen that's what's good about I, you guys yeah you're a, you're a duo yeah it's and yeah he uh yeah every, everyone everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses and uh i don't know what it was like within the first i don't know i think i met capone uh he was asking me some questions about stuff and in like five minutes into watching one of his Twitch streams, I was like, this guy's going to be big. I knew it. I knew it right off the bat. There was no doubt in my mind. And his positivity and his energy is contagious. And um, 
he, he does his thing and I do my thing and we just, we just click, man. And I, I'm not saying that to like boast about ourselves. I just, it just, you either know it or you don't. And I knew it very, in a very short amount of time that he was something special and that we need to hang out. And, uh, when I can't, there's times he messages me that he finds something. I'm like, Oh no, I didn't see that. So, you know, thanks for the compliment, but you know, it is, it's a dual team thing. And we just kind of, we ad live all this. We don't script yeah. anything out. I mean, we have a general outline of like, hey, this happened this week, et cetera, and we just throw it out there and let's go get it. Right. Like we we don't we don't plan just like anything I do in life, it's always just off the top of my head. Just that's how I live my life. Whatever. I don't even know what I'm gonna say next, man. I don't even I have a stream tonight. I don't know what game I'm gonna play. I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about. I have no idea what's gonna happen. It just I go live and then hey, what's going on, guys? And we just kind of go from there. So uh, that's just how we live our life. But yeah, um, again, like I say, uh, WT doesn't take enough credit. This is uh, he is literally the driving force of this of this uh, this podcast. And, and 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 you know, thank you for the kind words. I agree. As soon as uh, as soon as we got together, it just clicked. We just I just I loved him from the second I started talking. I'm like, yo, this is my guy. You know, when you just meet someone, you're like, yep, that's my person. Well, that was this is my guy right here. It's uh, we were meant to 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 get together and meet each other, man, which is great. So. Uh, but yeah, that's just with, with here. Like I said, we have an idea. Like we talk about, you know, what happened in the week and then just kind of go from there. But, uh, yeah. And you're thinking about your, um, the name of your podcast at the moment. We still, you? Uh, you know, <laughs> you're still thinking, I think you've got to go for something to do with the two of you. Cause I think that's the, you know, the character of the show. That's, that's right. the dynamic. And if you can weave in the fact that there's two of you, there's two people, these two characters, right. We, 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 uh, we, man, we've had a lot of, uh, of, uh, imp like a lot of, um, names. We got to break, we got to get to it. We got to like figure this out, man. Mm. This has been really hard. This it's has been really hard. I, <laughs> I'm usually, I'm not, I'm usually decent at coming up with something, but man, I am just stumped. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, this has been really hard and, uh, we, we will, I, I will do something uh to reward the people that at least attempted i don't know what yet it just we just haven't had the one name where are like yeah that's it and uh not not to knock on all the suggestions there's been a lot of great suggestions just we just haven't had that one or it's just like light bulb you know because mm -hmm. once so. it's once it's there it's there it's it once we hit that name that's our name yeah. you know so it's uh it is it's you know you can't really change it so we got to make sure it's the one you know because this podcast this might be episode eight but we're going to go to episode 800 and 8,000. Like, we're not oh. stopping. So, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, it's, uh, you know, this is still very early even in our podcast. Uh, so, yeah, we want to make sure once we hit that name that it sticks. And that's what we're going to use for the next, you know, 1,000 podcasts plus. Whatever we do, right? So, uh, yeah. I'm excited, man, and and, uh, and and like I say, we're doing this, and you as well. And QL, honestly, like uh, again, I, I gotta say, your 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 podcasts are phenomenal. I'm gonna make sure to put your links below in the in the description. Anywhere you want to, uh, anybody to follow, you. say, give us give us a state, give us a closing statement. Anything you want to talk about, uh, anywhere you want people to follow you, anything you want to say, if you want, whatever you want the people to hear right now, the floor is yours, brother. Whatever you gotta say, give it up. Go for it, man. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that's an invitation for my mind to go blank. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Um, no, I'm uh, really glad you guys uh, have invited me on. Hopefully, um, uh, we can sort of go back and forth and, um, you know, sort of, uh, speak to each other over, um, over time and, mm -hmm. um, come on each other's shows. And, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think the reality is we are in a game which um, sees itself long term. Um, for me, I spend a lot of time looking uh, at this space and all the people, not all, a lot of people that I look at are, myself included, we're drawn towards the short term uh, projects that, uh, you know, you can do a quick flip or a uh, quick uh, price appreciation, um, but maybe that will burn out quick. And um, I've noticed recently there's actually been um, – it's, it's almost kind of like become – if you've got a project which has long-term thinking, you're almost – to some people, you're almost a bit of a joke. Like um, there's almost this thinking that, uh, you know, you're kind of this, this slow um, – this slow creature that you know uh isn't really shouldn't really be taken seriously because there's no money in it or whatever mm -hmm. um i'm at i'm 
I'm I'm betting on myself and the conviction that fundamentals will matter. This game is not um is not looking to uh blow all of its uh reserves and all of its um tokens, assets straight away um to appease uh, people for quick uh, flips and price appreciation. Uh, I think that that is um, a, a valid approach uh, that um, I personally am, am betting on. Uh, I think is a good approach. I think a game needs that. Uh, I think we all need to um, uh, we all need to understand more and more how much effort goes into creating a game. And I, to be honest, that's it's been an educational experience for everyone, myself included. A game is not easy to make. It takes time, people. And uh, not everybody understands that. And uh, yeah, we're uh, we're here. Uh, we'll get there. We're going to make it. Um, podcast great. This game's great. Uh, <laughs> team's great. Mm -hmm. It's all good. So I I, I want to add on that part you said, which is exactly what I, the way I see it as well. Um, the thing is, is a lot of people they come into these spaces to make quick money. You know, they come in, quick flip, see you later. And the problem is, is the game and the people that actually care for the product suffer because they're the ones that hold the bag. They want to stay long term. And I love that Guild of Guardians is hold that stance from the beginning. We're here to make a long term game, and that's what we're here for. We want longevity, and I love that. And that's one thing that really appeals to me about this is because so many projects you see as people come in, they know how to get on, they want to get on the white list, they get on the white list, they invest, they sell and dump everything once uh, once the game goes live or the price goes up. And it's the people that actually care about the product that get hurt in the long run. And this is the opposite approach. And I absolutely love that, you know? And uh, they, you know, I, I, I'm so bullish on this project. I'm so, like every, I talk about this all the time on the stream, how much I love the project. You know, obviously we do the podcast and stuff. So, uh, again, it's, it's the, I like people that have that long-term view. I myself have that view where it's like, I come in today. I know it could take a long time for things to mature. I understand that going in, but I'm looking down the road and I want to see something that's a good product. Uh, and that's what I want to see. And, and like you said, you know, uh, you hope we'd come on anytime you need something for your podcast. Let me know. You can always, not even just your podcast. You ever want to just mess, hit me up anytime. And my DMS are always open. That goes for anybody here. Um, I, I not, I don't bite. Um, I will answer everybody that I try to answer everybody that messages me and uh, yeah, hit me up any, 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 any time. Uh, WT, what do you think on that? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out his recent podcast with Tomahawk, it was pretty good. Uh, they, they really, the first half of it was a lot of information stuff. And then it was the first time I've seen Tomahawk really like Tomahawk kind of like, it was almost like he had a blackout moment. And like your second half of your podcast was absolutely excellent. I loved it. Uh, Tomahawk started going into about, uh, really deep stuff with the community and I, don't, I can't remember if he used the word, used the word conviction. I love that word. Uh, I'm a big fan of block, blockchain backer, and he uses that word all the time. And I kind of learned that from him is where's your convictions lie? And uh, Tom Hawk started going into that kind of premise around this game and this community and his personal convictions. And you clearly have them. I clearly have them. Bruno clearly has them. And uh, that's been the that's been the most fun thing for me is to see this community come together and just put their convictions together. And Tomahawk mentioned about how all these people that came together in a space were kind of all wired the same way. And that's why probably why we're here at this spot because it, it drew us to it and there's something to it and it's special. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, check out the Guardian Knights. Uh, check them all out. They're yep. all fantastic. I guarantee you. I, I'm going to be going back to that Blackpool one with Sam over and over again throughout my process in this because he had so much just grounding information. So, like, I've already listened to it, like, two and a half times. Every now and then I promise myself I'm going to go back and to listen to it to reground myself, to just kind of keep myself going forward with those kind of thoughts that he had. So, awesome stuff. Uh, I can't say it much enough about how much i love your podcast so that's that's my thoughts on it yep. i know i was all over the place there <laughs> no you're good yeah, man fantastic. i'm gonna definitely put all the links for it in the in the description and all your socials just send them to me i'll put them down there um really good chatting with you like i said i, I could listen to you talk it's just you know one yes the accent is is, is amazing you know a beautiful voice 
Um, but it's not that it's your knowledge, you know, it's, it's, your very, very well spoken, your knowledge, <clears throat> very good guy. Um, <clears throat> really, really appreciate you coming on here to talk with us. I mean, it's, it's, um, one thing if you you know, if you've watched the podcast, you know, we're very big into, we, we want everybody to succeed. Like, it's not just, you know, it, it, people have different podcasts and a lot of it, different community people look at things so, so differently than I look at things. It's like, for me, um, I don't care. Um, you know, I don't see people as competition. You know, and I'm not saying I'm not saying anything like that, but a lot of times in people's games, it's like my podcast, their podcast, your podcast. This I don't see it that way. I want to see everybody succeed, and we can all kind of help each other build together. So I love that, and uh, I really want to see um, I really want to see everybody make it. And I love, 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 love your podcast. So um, yeah, uh, very good chatting with you. You're always welcome here, and uh, you know, thank you again for coming on. Yeah, thanks, guys. Really, uh, really glad to be here. And uh, we're so early. Um, I think I think as time progresses, uh, everything's just going to look so different. And um, yeah, it's it, yeah, we're going to look back. Uh, mm -hmm. I cannot wait to look back. Let's look back at this and just <laughs> see, uh, see what we think about this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I got one more. I got one more thing. I want to actually you said you're part of uh, Blackpool, right? Correct? Yeah. Tell us about that before before uh, before we close. I want to know more about Blackpool, what your role is in it, everything about it, what you want to talk about. Why don't, why don't you explain it to us a little bit? Yeah, well, I'm super bullish Blackpool. Um, uh, yeah, so it's a quantitative hedge fund. Um, I think you can consider it s uh, a, somewhat akin to uh, Yield, Guild Games and Merit Circle, but it is slightly different because it's not just Yield. It is uh, a hedge fund. Um, the guy to look at is uh, Julien Boutelou. Um, if you go to the Blackpool Twitter, you'll find Julien. Uh, Julien is a really smart guy. He set uh, the DAO up. He uh, he's, he set a uh, stake DAO up, which was the first um, one of his first projects uh, in this space. He's a part of uh, Curve Finance. So um, I personally f uh, look to Julien as someone. Um, uh, with a lot of knowledge about the space he's been in the space a uh, really long time he's really smart he's really into DeFi. um he's got a lot of skills there he's really into his maths so i look to him uh to make up for some of my you know areas what i'm not so hot on uh blackpool yeah we're uh interested in loads of uh different games uh we're i think we're the biggest player in so rare um which is a a football uh, soccer trading card game but it's going to be other sports uh axie obviously uh guild of guardians is one uh we've got a token uh check that out i think it's um really good value personally we just uh released a new um staking system which is really exciting for all of us because we all uh benefit from uh because we're all part of the, the dow as token holders um so look into it i think I think it's a bit of alpha to uh, check out Blackpool. Um, not financial advice. Don't uh, mm -hmm. uh, don't come at me if, uh, <laughs> if it doesn't go the way you want. But uh, yeah, it's a cool community. If you like France, it's, uh, lots of France focus. They're French people, so uh, yeah, it's cool. Very yeah, I actually know of so rare. I was looking into that a little bit. That's awesome. That is actually really cool. Um, that was fun. I really, really, again, I could talk to you all day. Um, very, very fun. Thank you so much for, for coming on. I had a, an absolute blast talking to you. So knowledgeable, so so gentle, so kind. So I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, WT, closing statement? Let's go. All right. That's it. That's a good statement. <laughs> all right, guys. That is it for episode number eight. Uh, I will make sure to put all QL's uh, socials below. And uh, obviously, WT's as well. We got him all the time. Maybe uh, guys, I love you. I'm out of here, you beauties. We'll talk soon. Peace.